Hello, everybody. It gives me great pleasure today to bring you this special holiday spotlight. It is my opportunity to introduce you to uh, the Hindu festival of Diwali, which actually begins on November the 12th of this year. I hope to cover four topics during this spotlight. Uh, one, which is uh, what does Diwali signify? Um, secondly, what does it mean to me? What are some of the things that are important to me? Uh, during this festival period. Um, thirdly, how did how did and how do my family and friends celebrate Diwali? And fourthly, for all of you foodies out there, what were some of the favorite foods and sweet dishes that we got to enjoy and that is still some of our favorites today? So to start this off, I would like to greet you all in the way in which my grandfather had taught me to greet um, your elders with respect or anybody that uh, came to your house to visit. It was our way of saying hello to them. And in Gujarati, it would, um, we, he was taught us how to say it in Gujarati and in Hindi. So here it goes. It is Jishi Krishna, Namaskar, and Namaste to you all. So Diwali is a five-day uh, festival of lights, which is celebrated by Hindus, such as myself, uh, Jains, uh, such as my brother-in-law, Sikhs, family and friends of mine, as well as Noir Buddhists. Hindu families would gather to offer puja, puja meaning worship to Lakshmi goddess of prosperity. Jain families would also worship Lakshmi and give more, but however, they would give more focus to Mahavir, a great Jain teacher um, celebrating his spiritual awakening. And then the uh, Sikhs would worship uh, Guru Hargobin and his release from imprisonment and the Noir Buddhists would also worship Lakshmi and Vishnu, a uh, principal Hindu god. So Diwali is one of the most popular uh, Indian holidays that is celebrated across the globe and uh, it spans over five days. So it's the five day festival of lights. The first day being um, Dhanteras, the second being Choti Diwali, the third being Diwali itself, so the main event, the fourth being uh, Ankut, which is New Year's Day, and then the fifth being Bhai Buj. So I'm going to go through some, uh, go through all of those um, five days and then also explain you know, what it meant to me and my family family um, and answer some of those topics that I mentioned earlier on. So you knew that Diwali was on its way soon after the festival of Navratri, which is actually happening right now. It is, uh, it is what we celebrate uh, over the victory of an evil demon that spans over nine nights and 10 days. And it is celebrated um, normally during the autumn time of the year. Uh, it is time when you get to dress up and um, dance for nine days, uh, seeing in the festival. Uh, of Navratri, and it's the time that marks the beginning um, and leads up to the beginning of Diwali. Uh, this is a time that I recall when my siblings and I would get dressed up in fancy dress uh, so that we could also partake in competitions that took place during Navratri in order to win some trophies and take home for the fancy dress that you were in. And uh, we certainly took home several trophies um, during those times. So I do remember those fun, fun loving days. Um, so now, uh, Let's, let's go into Diwali itself. So Tantaras being the first day. Tantaras is the start of Diwali. It's the celebration uh, with the lighting of diyas, as you saw me holding a diya at the beginning. Uh, women would also um, ordain their hands with henna. Um, I loved henna, loved celebrating uh, everything that was Diwali. So I did a bit of henna to show you. Um, it will also be the time when you got to light your house, got to light all the diyas, and that was the whole point of, of Diwali. And then doing the rangolis and preparing all the delicious foods and sweets that you would get to enjoy during that time. So Danteras is derived from the word dan, which means wealth or money. And uh, teras meaning 13, uh, the 13th day of the darkest fortnight of Karthik. Um, and the beginning of Diwali. On this day, families would gather um, in the evening or any time of the day, depending on uh, what the auspicious timing was to do that particular puja. And this is where we would offer prayer puja uh, to Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity, and Ganesha, as well as Ganesha's two wives, Riddhi and Siddhi. So we would place them um, in, our, in our temple or in a place where we want to carry out the puja. We would have uh, business owners would have their books, which they're going to be closing for the year in order to look forward to the new year. Uh, we would have money that we would be 
uh, offering prayers too. And there was ways in which you carried out the puja, which I myself do carry out even today in my home, even though my family is um, spread out throughout the globe. Uh, but it is a time when you get to offer thanks. Be thankful for everything that you have in your life, everything that you were able to achieve in that year, and also to offer um, fruits, sweet flowers uh, to the gods that you're praying to, to the dhan, to the wealth that you're praying to. And this is mainly to sort of offer blessings, to offer thanks, and to invite the goddess of abundance into your home. So this is where you would see a lot of Indian houses that have the swastikas drawn, and that's also done in a certain way, and uh, footprints of uh, Lord Lakshmi herself, so that you're inviting her into your home. Uh, it is also a time that um, where families would uh, continue to clean their homes and uh, paint it on the inside, on the outside, prepare all of the lights, uh, place all of the diyas in the places where they needed to place them so that you would light uh, the diyas for the next five days um, that signify Diwali, the festival of lights, which is why you had to make sure you lit, uh, your house was basically, all the lights were on. Everybody was definitely home. <laughs> um, then we go on to the second day of Diwali, which is known as Choti Diwali. Choti meaning small or little. Um, this is a time when families uh, had the opportunity to go and do some more shopping. So go and shop for some of the things that they have worked so hard for, whether it be new outfits, parents would go and do some shopping for their, for their, for their children to offer them new clothes to wear on New Year's Day. Um, and also on Diwali itself. Um, and, and also sort of fill the, fill the house with even more food and snacks uh, that they would get to enjoy during the, 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 the Diwali period itself. It also gave the opportunity for certain Hindus to uh, offer prayers and offer prayers to those that are no longer with us that have passed on and to wish them um, a fruitful journey and to light their way into their next uh, reincarnation or their next journey onward from where they were with us. Um, it also gives us the opportunity to create this bread, which is called Debra. Um, and you would uh, have four pieces of Debra, which you would then take with uh, a, a, a little, uh, pot that is full of water and you would uh, go to a crossroads and you would place a debra on each corner of the four crossroads so you would start at one end put a debra down put some money uh, sorry put some water down not money put the water down um say a prayer which basically meant that i wish for any evil any wrong being any arguments that i may have had of any remorse or any hurt that i had toward anybody uh, be taken away and and to leave it behind me and to move on to being better um, and having less arguments and less issues into the new year and you would do that at each corner without looking back and on the fourth one you would say the final prayer to to sort of leave all those all those uh, ill feelings evil hurt behind you and and look forward to the new year so that was the and we call that kakrat kakrat meaning taking out all the arguments from your home uh, which was quite fun to do, to be honest. Uh, then we go on to um, the very th the third day, the most important day of uh, uh, the celebration, which is Diwali itself. The, so the Lakmi Puja. This is where families would get up early, excited like you would be if it was Christmas Day, um, and it is Christmas Day for Hindus, so it's the festival of uh, lights. You would uh, put the lights on, irrespective of it being daylight. Uh, you would um, start to enjoy all of the foods and and. Uh, sweet dishes that have been prepared for the day. And it was the highlight of the festival um, being the main day, which coincided with the dark fortnight of the lunar moon. Um, this is the day when Hindus, Jains, Sikhs would light up their homes so that everything is glowing, thereby making it the festival of light. Um, the word Deepavali comes uh, from the Sanskrit word Deep, which is also my brother's name. Um, and it means Indian lantern. Uh, on this on this evening, families would gather to enjoy. Uh, after having done the Lakshmi Puja, they would enjoy an abundance of mouth-watering feasts. So everything from the different foods that have been prepared and the different desserts, and the most favorite part of the evening, which was one of my favorite parts, was seeing the fireworks. Gosh, I love fireworks, and I loved the sparklers, full jodi, as I used to call, uh, as we call them in Gujarati. I, I loved watching fireworks. I was always in awe of just standing there and watching the fireworks. It was the best part of the evening. And we used to also then go to the temple to enjoy more fireworks that everybody else had um, brought to sort of enjoy as as a group. So that was that was a really fun activity to do. Um, it is something I don't get to do so much here uh, since I'm on my own, but definitely one of my favorite parts is to watch fireworks. So anytime, any excuse for fireworks is good for me. 
We then go on to um, the fourth day, which is Ankut, so New Year's Day. This is the day when um, everybody gets together, has breakfast, gets ready, and you get ready in your, some of your new outfits, and you get to go to the temple where you get to meet all of your extended uh, family members, friends, um, get to get to see all the all the amazing uh, outfits that are there, get to see all the people that you haven't seen maybe um, in a while, you get to sort of appreciate them, greet them, wish them a happy new year, uh, get to get blessings from the priest, get blessings from the temple, and then obviously go and visit everybody's house where my mom would have prepared all these wonderful trays of food, um, which would have different types of nuts, fruits, sweets. Uh, and it was a way of offering, um, the reason for offering the fruits would be so that you're, you're basically wishing everybody a fruitful uh, new year. And my grandfather had, um, taught us all to say happy new year in a certain way uh, which it was for us to say we would say uh, or uh, there are some other forms in which people do say happy new year at the moment uh, in this day and time is some of them do say sal mubarak or naya sal mubarak so sal meaning year mubarak meaning um thanks so or, or happiness, so happy new year. Uh, but for us, it was always Nutan Varshna Binandan. So that would be the New Year's Day, um, which was celebrated uh, again in, in, in amazing fashion, which then leads us on to the fifth day, which is Bai Buj. So Bai Buj, um, or Bai Buj, as some people refer to it as, is in the literal sense, is Brother's Day. Yes, our brothers have a day. It is the significance uh, that celebrates the sister brotherly bond, so the sibling bond. And it is um, in the similar spirit to Raksha Bandhan, where the sisters get to tie their brother's uh, string to signify the bond between brothers and sisters. This, however, on this day, the brother actually comes to the sister's home, and it is, it is the sister's opportunity to offer uh, thanks and spoil her brother <laughs> with all of the things that he enjoys the most, whether it's his favorite food, his favorite dessert. So for example, my brother's um, favorite dessert was um, uh, chocolate burfi. So it's it's like a, it's, it's a little dessert that has a layer of chocolate over the top um, made from a certain uh, powder. Um, so he truly really loved that. I myself loved Ras Malai and Kaju Katli. Uh, my gra my uh, grandfather had uh, his favorites. My dad's favorite was Gulab Jambun. Uh, he absolutely loved that. And Kulfi, Kulfi ice cream. I'm sure some of you may have heard of that. Uh, my sister loved Kheer and Shikant. My mom was not very picky. She was, she was okay with pretty much most desserts. Um, and then as far as the savory foods go, we had a lot of different snacks that we used to enjoy uh, on the upcoming days to Diwali as well as over Diwali. And one thing that we all loved and enjoyed no matter what time of day it was, was to have matya. It's like a papadom, but it's crispy and wafery and just sweet but spicy at the same time. It tasted amazing. And then kandui, which is something that we all, especially my family, love that my mom is awesome at making. Um, and my all-time favorite, which is also my brother-in-law's all-time favorite, is kachori. So it's like a round ball that has stuffing inside, and there's flour on the outside, and it's fried. And it's kachori, uh, mug dal kachori, which is my absolute favorite. And um, I still love it to this day. In fact, I'll let you all into a little secret. I have actually got the nickname kachori, which was given to me a number of years ago um, that I got at a wedding, a uh, long story for another day. But yes, I do have a nickname and it is Kachuri. So this then brings me to the end of my spotlight. I do thank you for your time and attention today. And I hope that this was enjoyable for you as it was for me. Um, I just want to share a few last words here. And that is the common theme um, throughout the holiday season for us is being able to offer gratitude um, for abundance in our lives and choosing light over darkness. Um, and finally, to all who are celebrating and all who will be celebrating, and even those who are not celebrating, from my family to yours, we wish you a very happy Diwali and a very happy new year. So happy Diwali and Nutan Varsh Na Abhinandan. Take care, stay safe. <laughs>